Well, hello. Welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. The date is August twenty first, twenty twenty. A quick status update for those who、uh, want to know. My cat Tiger has survived his first round of treatment thanks to、uh, everyone who donated. So far,、uh, your donation definitely saved his life, and I want to take this chance to thank you all.、Uh, maybe in a couple of days, when he's、uh, feeling a little bit more of himself, we'll actually get him on the video, and people can、uh, actually take a look at him and see just quite a cute little guy. And your money went towards saving.、Um, of course, the road to recovery is still long, but at least we、uh, bought him a lot more time and give me more time to come up with the money for the rest of the treatment. So the other day,、uh, my girlfriend asked me about a form of exercise. That, for the most part, I have not、uh, looked into、uh, or paid a lot of attention to. This is called the isotonic exercise. Basically, what isotonic is, it came from the、uh, Greek word "iso."、Uh, basically, means balanced, equal, and "tono."、Uh, it was a Greek word for Maintain to maintain something. So, isotonic exercise is a form of exercising that allow your muscles to develop、uh, in a very balanced, equal way. The advantage of isotonic exercises is that you don't need any equipment, none whatsoever. You can be sitting in this chair or on a stack of mat like I am. You can be laying on the floor. And you can still get some exercise in. You can be sitting at the computer, and you can get some exercise in. You don't need any、uh, dumbbells or resistance band or medicine ball.、Uh, you can do these anywhere, everywhere, anywhere you go. You don't have to bring anything with you. The downside of isotonic exercise, and this is the main reason why I have not paid much attention to it. Is that it's a form of exercise that it requires a lot of discipline for you to be absolutely honest with yourself, because you are providing the resistance for yourself. One body part is providing resistance for another body part. So when you start to get tired, it's easy. It's so tempting to start loosening up and just go through the motion and thinking you're getting an exercise. Now, when you're working with resistance band or medicine ball or uh, or, or、uh, dumbbell or barbell or even your own body weight, like when you're doing push-ups, you don't get that luxury. If you're 200 pounds, you keep doing your push-ups.、Uh, you you are you're still 200 pounds, 50 push-up layer. You use a 25 pound dumbbell after、uh, 25 reps, it's still 25 pounds. It's not going to get lighter just because you're tired. It's your responsibility to keep holding on to it and keep doing what you're doing. But when it comes to isotonic exercise, since it's yourself that's giving yourself the resistance, a lot of people, myself included, when you start to get tired, you start to lose the motivation to keep the same amount of pressure on your own body parts. So that is number one reason why I personally don't、uh, put much time into this form of exercise. Number two is no matter how dedicated you are, it is very, very, very hard, almost impossible, to lose weight or build cardio、uh, using isotonic exercise. Because if you are just using your arm, your hand as a resistance. You can sit here and do this all day. Your heart rate is not going to go that high. Uh, your, 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 you'll be hard pressed to work up even a good sweat doing that. 
uh, unless you're in a really hot room, uh, stuff like that. But it, it is no substitute for a good round of uh, cardio or calisthenic or heavy weight training if your goal is to sweat it out and actually uh, lose a lot of weight and get really really toned and build big muscles. So in another word, uh, isotonic, just as it suggests, it is a good exercise if it's your last resort. If you don't have any equipment when you're, you're waiting at the airport, you can't just stand up and start doing push-ups on the floor. Well, actually, no one say that you can't, but most of you probably don't want to. In those environments, isotonic allow you to still get some exercises in to help you maintain your muscle. And that is why we're looking at it today. I'm going to confess, I don't know all the uh, possibilities, all the options, but I'm going to show you what I know. Uh, hopefully that will get you well on the way to discovering more of these exercises on your own. As I mentioned, isotonic exercise means you use your own body parts to provide resistance. So let's start from the head and we'll work down to our leg. Let's say I want to work my neck. I can put my hand under my chin and my goal is to dip my chin to my collarbone while my hand, its job is to prevent that from happening. Keep constant pressure with your arm on your chin, with your neck. And then we can work at uh, the side by putting my hand, my right hand on the right side of my chin. And I'm going to try to turn my face to the right while my hand is providing resistance. And then we can do the left side. Left hand to the left side of the face provide resistance and I'm going to turn my face to the left. Now when you do these neck exercises, be gentle in the beginning, you will end up with a really sore neck the next day uh, and it's not pleasant. So yeah, just a fair warning. From the neck down, we go to our shoulder. How do we work our shoulders from here? Uh, what I do is I will reach down and across with my left arm. So my left arm will be straight. I'm reaching like I want to touch uh, the front of my right thigh with my left hand. So down and across. And then I grab my left wrist with my right hand. At this point, my left fist is right in front of the right side of my hip. Uh, I want to pull it up so it's to my right armpit. Okay, I'm holding onto my left wrist with my right hand. I want to use my right hand to pull my left fist up to my armpit. And of course, my left arm is giving it all the resistance it can. And then we'll do the other side. Right arm down and across. Left hand grab right wrist. Right fist is now in front of my left hip. I'm going to pull my right fist up to my left armpit. Okay. Similarly, we can work our uh, lateral, our lat, our back muscle. This time, I'm going to reach forward with my right hand. My right hand is pointing roughly at 11 o'clock. Directly in front of me is 12 o'clock. So I'm going to be pointing my right arm slightly across in the front with my arm straight. My Left hand, grab my right wrist in the motorcycle 
grip, and I'm going to pull it back to my body from all the way straight out back to my body, back to my body, back to my body. Okay, and then we do the other side. Left arm straight out and slightly across to the right. Right hand grab left wrist, motorcycle grip. That means the fingers are pointing down. And then we pull it back. Your elbow would be flaring out to the side. Pull it back. Pull it back. And the arm being pulled is providing resistance, of course. Okay. Just a few of those, I'm already feeling my muscles engaging and warming up. Uh, so it is a pretty good kind of uh, set of resistance exercise. We can work our butterfly press. Let's say I want to do some chest. I'm going to uh, have my right arm out to the side with my elbow bent, so my hand is by the side of my head. My elbow is out to the side. I'm going to reach across with my left hand, put my left hand on the inside of my right elbow. While the left hand provides resistance, I'm going to uh, pull in with my right elbow like the butterfly, butterfly machine. In and out. In and out, in and out, in and out, and then we switch sides. Left elbow out, left hand by my head, right hand come across, put right hand by left elbow, provide resistance while bringing left elbow in, out, in, out, in, out. In and out. Chest press. Left hand reach across my body. So left hand is in front of right shoulder. Right hand come up, grab my left wrist. Uh, it can be uh, the uh, curl grip or motorcycle grip, whichever way you're comfortable. So left hand is going to provide resistance while right hand push forward. Out and in. Out and back to shoulder. Out and back to shoulder. Out and back to shoulder. And then we we'll do the other side. Right hand come across the body. Right hand is in front of left shoulder. Left hand grab right wrist and push forward and back. And push forward and back and push forward and back bicep and tricep you can actually work both of these at the same time let me show you how i'm going to grab my left wrist with my right arm right hand in a standard curling grip when I pull up with my, when I curl with my right arm, my left hand provides resistance. And then when I straighten my left arm, my right arm provides resistance. So right arm is working bicep, and left arm is working tricep extension. Bicep and tricep. In, out, right and left. And then we can switch sides. So this time, left hand grab right hand, left hand grab right wrist, and left hand curl, right hand extension, left arm bicep, right arm tricep, left arm in, right arm out, like that. Okay. Now we can also work our forearm. By work, uh, when we work our forearm, we'll be shaking our own hand. My right hand shake my left hand, and then my left hand provide resistance while my right hand try to curl just at the wrist, 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 
and then you can switch switch your grip still right hand shake left hand this time right hand provide resistance left hand curl at the wrist 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 so that take care of our neck our shoulder our lat our back our uh chest our bicep our tricep our forearm upper body pretty much taken care of by uh just providing resistance with your own hand uh, unfortunately i don't know any isotonic exercise that will help you work your abs or your lower back so maybe someone can enlighten me on those however i do know how to work your legs let me show you we'll be sitting back on a chair or you can lay on the floor so i'm crossing my legs at the ankle my left leg crosses over my right ankle like this okay we're working your quad and your hamstring at the same time just like your bicep and tricep one leg will be working the front one leg will be working the hamstring so my left ankle cross over my right ankle provide resistance and when i straighten my right leg and then i curl with my left leg straighten my right leg quad curl with my left leg hamstring quad hamstring quad hamstring quad hamstring and then of course you can switch to the other side you can also work your inner thighs we've shown this exercise before the half butterfly i'm going to bend my left leg uh, like i'm going to sit in lotus position and i'm going to put my right heel against the inside of my left knee and by putting pressure on my left knee and then i'm going to slowly raise my left knee off the ground up and down up and down using my right leg to provide the resistance and then of course you want to do the other side as well that's also uh another little one you can do for your chest i almost forgot is uh we're going to put our palms together like we are doing a prayer and basically you'll just be pushing your hand against each other okay so when right hand push left hand provide resistance and then the left hand is going to push back to the other side the left side right side left side right side left side right side So, like I said, play around with these. I'm sure you'll be able to find a lot more uh, using the same set of principles. Uh, if you are working out your right arm, use your left arm or left leg to help it. If you are working out your left leg, use your right arm or right leg to help it. Have fun. And thank you for checking out today's Fitness Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Survival Saturday. For now, have a good night and stay safe.